Hey, I'm Justin McPadden, and we are here in downtown St. Pete. We're doing three accent walls, and we're looking over the pier here in downtown. And I wanted to show you the offices that we're doing. This is one of the walls we are doing. What we're doing is we're doing the wave effect. It's a metallic, and it looks beautiful over the water. Looking over the view, check out this view. We got the new pier here in downtown St. Pete, freshly remodeled. So we got this wall right here we're gonna be doing, um, and the wave effect, and then we have two more. And this is one of the, the other wall we're doing, the second wall. And then we have one more. And here's the third office, we're gonna be doing this wall. But look at that view. And even though it's not looking at the water, it's still a beautiful view. All right, now we're gonna show you the process. So we're gonna first prime this wall with a quartz primer. It's like glue with sand in it. That way when we put the marmorino KS on and put our texture on, it sticks to it really well. Our primer is dry, and now we're gonna be putting our marmorino KS on. We're gonna put a texture on it. So first we start with the clean white. It has no tint in it. So this is gonna be a metallic white wall. So we don't want any tint. And we're going to be putting it on with our trusted trials. This is an exotic line trial, and these are Marmorino tool trials. These are just to put the, the uh, Marmorino KS on the trial. And then we're going to be pulling it with this. This is a bamboo trial, which actually makes the wave effect. Um, so I'm going to show you how this is all comes together and get this bad boy started. Day two here in St. Pete, where we're doing three beautiful accent walls with the Doom Metallic over top of Marmorino KS, and we're doing it in the wave effect. Now you see our texture is dry now, so now we're gonna scrape it down, get all the rough stuff off, and then we're gonna pull it tight up and down with another coat of Marmorino KS, then we're gonna burnish it and smooth it out. So let me show you a little bit about the texture, I'll get a little up close. So you can see these little rough spots right here. So when we pull our second coat up and down, it's gonna smooth these all out and then we burnish it and put a little water on it. That way it has that smooth wave appearance. And then after that, we start putting our Doom Metallic on and really make it pop.
Now we finished our second process where we took the second coat, put it over top of the texture and we burnished it. Now we're about to put on our Doom Metallic, which is really gonna make this thing sexy. So come here, I wanna show you a little bit of the wall and show you how smooth it is and I also wanna show you the material, the Doom Metallic. So this is a limestone. So if once we spray the water on, then we burnish it, compress it, it makes it all smoothed out. That way when we put our Doom Metallic on, it's nice and beautiful. So this is a Doom Metallic, this is extra white. It's like a mother of pearl. Um, so we're gonna put this on with a sponge and then uh, we're really gonna show you what the final touch looks like. to the end of this project where we did three office walls here in downtown St. Pete. They had plain walls and they wanted to make it into something different. So we introduced them to Venetian plaster where this is a uh, clean white metallic wave effect that we added to their walls. Now if you have a boring walls at your office or home and you want to change them into an art piece, reach out to us. Again, I'm Justin McPadden and we are The Final Touch. Yeah.